Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, January 13th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat has wandered off, but she's inside. And I have with me this beautiful collage, helping me pray this morning. Epiphany is the season of revelations, epiphanies. Like the many dimensions, God reveals a divine self to us in so many layers. Different levels or glimpses of understanding. And this work reminds me of that. Today I can see three large almost um, a doorway of wide beams to the side and on top. It's amazing how when we look at something, we can see it more and more the more we look. Often in this day of rushing, we don't look at things long enough and we don't see them, not in their fullness, including one another. We continue today in the book of Genesis. Cain has killed his brother Abel and he runs off to the land of Nod. Nod means a wanderer, so he's wandering. Cain then, though, proceeds to have a lot of kids. Enoch is his first child, and then he builds a city. So cities are associated with this second level of fall. So in a sense, Adam and Eve fell from Eden, and then Cain fell from them. So Adam and Eve fell from the garden to regular earth. Um, and then Cain fell from the land to the city. And his son, Tubal Cain, will become the creator of tools of copper and iron. It's as if the estrangement from God is equaling the divorce between the human being and the created world as we move further and further into industry and urbanism, farther away from the earth itself and the ground. Cain prides himself in having many children and they, they have children and they have children. And he boasts about this. But there is this sense that he is now trying to become his own God and create his own world, a world of iron, and hypocrisy. And so the estrangement begins and continues down generations as people in the scripture will seek to move closer to God or to fall further and further away. Who are we? We are fundamentally creatures of this earth meant to live very close to it and the more we distance ourselves from it, the more we become estranged from our maker. Our relationship with the earth is intimately involved in our spiritual lives. And Cain forgets this. And so do his children and his children's children. And they become proud and strong and lose touch with God. Let us pray. Almighty God, help us return to you, return to the forests and rivers, to the earth and the dirt. Help us to love you and to bring your environmental understanding into the rest of our lives. Help us to right our relationship with this created world so that we might be in right relationship with you, its maker. Guide us today, Lord, to take whatever steps you put in front of us, whatever you call us to do today, Lord. Help us become practitioners of discerning your will 
in all that we undertake so that unlike Cain, we may not wander off, but may live with you and in you and through you like Jesus. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord. We ask you to bless our hospital workers who are so overwhelmed. Give them strength and courage. We ask you to convince those who will not be vaccinated to do so. Help them to come to an understanding of the corporate nature of this virus and of the fact that we need to use medicine for the safety of us all. Bless those who cannot get into the hospital because they are so overrun or those who cannot have surgeries or other medical care. Blanket this earth, Lord, with your love and your grace. Bring us together as a people and as a planet. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.